going on guys? It is Chris with 605 Brew Reviews back with yet another beer review and uh, today we have another one from Prairie Artisan Ales. This is their Christmas Bomb uh, Imperial Stout with Spices and guys it is uh, Christmas Day today. Uh, hung out with family last couple days. Fortunately uh, the wife had to work tonight so I uh, figured I'd course crack open the Christmas bomb on Christmas and uh, see what she's like so a couple notes on this before I get into it um, I have had regular uh, prairie bomb before and it's probably one of my favorite stouts that you can get relatively regularly and is not uh, terribly expensive um, and Basically what this is is the same beer uh, with some spices added supposedly. So uh, regular bomb is an imperial stout with coffee, uh, chili peppers, uh, vanilla and coffee I believe. Let me make sure that's right. And uh, I don't know what kind of spices are added to this one guys but we'll see if we can tell on the flavor. Uh, this clocks in at 13% ABV, IBU is unknown, and uh, bottle date on this one guys, they, Prairie does Julian dating, so it's the 311th day of uh, 2017, so it's, today would be the 350, <laughs> 357th day of, of 2017, so it's a little over a month old, uh, but let's go ahead and get this one into a glass, guys. Let you know what it looks like, smells like, tastes like, and give you the final verdict on the Prairie Christmas Bomb. So just one quick thing I thought I'd show you on the label of this beer. Um, it's got a scene on both sides of the label. Initially they look the same, but supposedly there are 14 differences <laughs> and they want you to try to find them. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this into a glass. Alright guys, so the appearance on the Prairie Christmas Bomb. Nice dark beer as you can see. Very thick and viscous looking, so as you can see there guys, pitch black. Um, Pouring that pretty aggressively gave us a little bit over a finger of kind of a, a mocha colored head. Nice tightly packed bubbles um, and just pitch black. Almost looks like motor oil in a the glass there guys. Uh, I could tell you I'll sm I could smell that from here so let's go ahead and get into the aroma on the Prairie Christmas Bomb. <laughs> So the aroma on the Prairie Christmas Bomb. Well, a lot going on with this one, guys. Uh, up front, get a little bit of that kind of green pepper skin, uh, pepper heat note. Big uh, roasted coffee, uh, kind of like a dark roast coffee. Some chocolate. Do get a little bit of like a vanilla sweetness, um, and then definitely some spices there. Um, I would say I definitely get nutmeg, a little bit of maybe like a cinnamon character, uh, maybe some ginger. Uh, just kind of has that kind of fresh ginger kick to it there, but uh, very aromatic beer, guys. Smells really good. Let's go ahead and get into the flavor on the Prairie Christmas Bomb. Hmm. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Very, very tasty. Wow, 
Um, so leading off guys, big, big, big roastiness, roasted malt, a little bit of, again, that dark roast coffee, uh, kind of roasty and a tinge of bitterness from that, uh, middle of the palate. Definitely like a big fudgy chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, uh, kind of that vanilla sweetness. Uh, back end, guys, as it starts to close there, you do get a little bit of pepper heat as it goes down, uh, but nothing overbearing. A little bit of that green pepper skin, and then a bunch of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. That ginger uh, smell that I was getting, I definitely don't get as much of that on the taste uh, if it's there it's very subtle but tons of cinnamon tons of like a nutmeg or allspice kind of flavor uh, just wow i just <laughs> there's a lot going on there guys and you know some beers when they have all of these flavors you don't get all of those you know, flavors that they claim are in there. Uh, this is one of those beers where you do. I mean, you get the coffee, you get chocolate, you get a little bit of vanilla, you definitely get the peppers, definitely get the spices. Um, just very complex. Hits you a little bit differently with every sip that you take um, in a good way. Uh, so getting into the final verdict on this beer, guys, this is going to be an A for me. I just love how you get all of those flavors that they're stating that are in there. Very complex beer. Um, nice, kind of viscous, creamy mouthfeel. Um, but 13%, I don't think I would guess that if you if you asked me to try to guess what the ABV was. Uh, so again, A beer for me, guys. Uh, if you've had this one, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, and until next time, guys, cheers, and again, Merry Christmas.